The nuclear power plant of the Philippines is really an interesting issue not only for Filipino but for all the people. The reason for being an interesting is not about the power it generates or the technology that used on it. But because of the reason why it was built but not activated without considering the cost of the plant that goes over $2.3 billion. Before I tell you the reasons, let me share you a background of Bataan nuclear power plant and then finally the reasons why Philippines decided not to operate it. In 1958, under Republic Act 2067, the Philippines start the nuclear program creating the Philippines Atomic Energy Commission. But the decision to build a nuclear power plant was more than a decade later. The decision to build one was a response to the 1973 oil crisis, as the Middle East oil embargo had put a heavy strain on the Philippine economy, and Marcos. The president of the Philippines that time, believed nuclear power to be the solution to meeting the country's energy demands and decreasing dependence on imported oil. As the president announced in July of 1973 to build a nuclear power plant, a presidential committee was set up to secure funding for two 620 megawatt nuclear reactors, a total of 1,240 megawatt for the energy needs of Luzon. The project was awarded to Westinghouse in 1974. Two years after, construction starts in 1976. The location of the project is in Bataan Peninsula, a 3.57 square kilometer government reservation at Nopert Point in Morong, Bataan. As the Bataan nuclear power plant was still under construction, the 1979 Three Mile Island accident in the United States happened. So, the construction of the Bataan nuclear power plant was stopped, and a subsequent safety inquiry into the plant revealed over 4,000 defects, though it was denied by Westinghouse. And when the time it was finished, only one reactor are in Bataan nuclear power plant. When President Ferdinand Marcos was overthrown by the People Power Revolution in February 1986, the succeeding administration of President Corazon Aquino take the following consideration decided not to operate the plant. I, I Corazon Cuanco Aquino, Corazon Cuanco Aquino, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully and conscientiously, and conscientiously fulfill my duty fulfill my duty as president of the Philippines as president of the Philippines preserve and defend its fundamental law preserve and defend its fundamental law execute its just law execute its just law do justice to every man do justice to every man and consecrate myself and consecrate myself to the service of the nation to the service of the nation so help me God so help me God the first reason was because of the accident in Three Mile Island in U.S., and the Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine, it put a bad impression on nuclear power plant that lead to a strong opposition from Bataan residents and Filipino people. The second was, the location of the Bataan nuclear power plant. The project was criticized for being a potential threat to public health, especially since the plant was located in an earthquake zone connected to Mount Natib, a caldera volcano similar to Mount Pinatubo. The third reason was, the integrity of the construction questioned by Aquino's administration. There are a lot of reasons Aquino's administration considered not to operate the plant. And the fourth reason why Bataan nuclear power plant was not activated, is to forget Ferdinand Marcos. And this was the actual voice of Ferdinand Marcos giving his statement on Hawaii in 1987. Bilin bilin ko kay Mrs. Corazon Aquino. Kay pagpatuloy ang Bataan 
nuclear plant from our so because uh, i told her uh, this is the uh, solutions and meeting a country's energy demands and decreasing dependence on imported oil when it the ayonyan tangkapin ang aking mungkay at tamaalala daw ng taong bayan si Marcos habang hindi dyan ang batang niklapan. Anong klaseng pag-iisip yan? Ayun ay pag-ihiganti. Huwag na pindamay sa buhay ng Pilipino. Ayun at ay balang araw makikita ninyo. 20 years from now, pakistak na ang Pilipinas. If you can't understand Filipino language, try to listen to the Google translation of the statement of Ferdinand Marcos with the interviewer about the Batala nuclear power plant. My instruction to Mrs. Corazon Aquino is to continue the Batan nuclear plant if possible. Because, I told her, this is the solution in meeting the country's energy demand and decreasing dependence on imported oil. But he did not want to accept my suggestion and said that the people would remember Marcos while the nuclear power plant was there. What kind of thinking is that? That is revenge. Let us not involve the Filipino people. One day you will see, 20 years from now, the Philippines has failed. It has an extra earthquake proof. So it doesn't move even in, in an earthquake. But actually, it will run without that bracket. That's what makes a nuclear plant expensive. All of these extra little things that it won't move a single bit even during the worst earthquake. The reason that nuclear is the safest is because it doesn't produce air pollution. There's nothing that burns. It's a way for Philippines to decide to become an advanced country. Most people don't know anything about nuclear, and so they believe all the superstitions and the mythology, right, um, which keeps you trapped on, in this uh, fossil fuel economy. Now, among the reasons, what do you think is the primary reason why Batala nuclear power plant was not operated? Let me know your thoughts by sharing it on the comments section. If you still watching at this point, I will give you a trivia about it. The Batala nuclear power plant is the first nuclear power plant in Southeast Asian nation. Be updated on our next video by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Thank you. <laughs> so scary. You'll notice that these are not hollow block walls, these are solid, uh, really thick concrete walls you know, that are earthquake proof. Uh, you see for yourself. <laughs>